right, you know, the single line, you know, all the all the yeah. Just because it's the most simple thing, whereas God seems to be the most complicated. Oh, you're right. oh, <laughs> seeing as we don't know either way, we kind of know that there's some kind of singularity existing, but we don't think we've got evidence of it, but we don't have any evidence of God, no direct evidence of God. To be honest with you, yeah. All we're saying is that we believe yeah. there was a first cause and everything. We believe that. Yeah, I mean, that's fine to say I believe that. Yeah. 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 I believe it can be true. It can be. Yeah, it can be true. How would you know the well, it's not evidence for all right. it's not. No, no, but if you're going to believe it, you should believe it based on the evidence. No, no, no. So the only way to evidence is the way, then it's not very much. I believe in the fact that you're not holding it. Yeah, I'll say it. We don't, we don't in, our, in our day to day lives, we don't say that I don't know how fast this car's coming across the road, so I'm not going to make a decision. Yeah, but, but, we would do is to say this truck is coming. But there are certainly times where you haven't got evidence either way, right? Like, if I asked you, is there life on Europa? I believe it. You might be, right? It's possible. There's water there. It could be life. But it might not be. We don't know how life got started. It could be very rare. We've no idea. If I asked you, life on Europa, yes or no? What's wrong with saying I don't know? I don't want to take a claim on it either way. Just as a it's a scientific idea to simplify it. But all the energy is there, all the energy that's here is here and there, it's just small. I have a bit like that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but the problem is. It matter, it doesn't give you a... It doesn't, it doesn't help you choose. Oh, it does. Oh, so if you take Pascal's way, you could reverse it either way, right? Of course you can. Okay. Why not? Let's just suppose... Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the reverse Pascal's way. When I hear this argument, I could, I could say... There's a big kind of price. He will punish anyone who picks the wrong one. But he won't do anything to anyone who doesn't pick the wrong one. What should you do? Right, so the thing is what you've done is you've taken the You've changed the face of the religion. What this cause is. So what you're doing is you're misrepresenting the religion. No, no, no. I've come up with an idea of what God might do. Okay? Let's just... And maybe I'm going to be inspired by the Bible, where there's a bit where he says God is a jealous God. That's in the Bible. So if I believe that, and I say, yes. what I want to do is make sure I don't pick the Bible. So I'm better off picking no religion, because then I don't get punished. No, because that's not a problem. So that also is a problem. No, no, he'll, he, 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 he's concerned is that you like don't that. worship like a different God. God. He's fine with you not worshipping any God. So, so what right? you're doing, the best thing to do is worship no so God. So in your scenario, the problem is, into that assumption, but there'll be bad things if I don't do worship God. My reverse wager is there'll be bad things if you do worship God. Maybe he doesn't want people to worship God. That's possible. I don't think it is. Why is that? Because impossible? everything, there is no... Apart from Buddhism, maybe, most religions require you to have some sort of veneration if you worship God. Yeah, they, but if they're human creative religions, then so what? They're just inventing no, the human. So what you're saying is there's, there's, there's confusion here. Yeah. The confusion between sorry, with respect to two things. One is different models of the creator, and then under 
so if you put a Venn diagram in all the different religions, yeah. there's going to be a point where they all of the Venn diagrams will interact. Uh, they and will all agree that there's a God. That's one point, not necessarily. The other, the other place the is other. that there's a consequence of that yeah. Yeah. And, and that's usually yeah. veneration or worship, or some sort of change in your own life for a better matter later on. These are universal concepts. So even if all of the theories are... They're not either. Some religions preach that you should just lead a good life. And that it doesn't matter what you do. Maybe Buddhism. Buddhism yeah. is yeah. very there. It's certainly traits of Buddhism. And Hinduism is a perennial religion, but even then it requires so so it doesn't not care what your belief is, only cares whether you live or not. So I don't agree with that idea that there is a hierarchy. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So what I'm saying is, we don't, we are not obliged to believe any of these main messages. You agree that Hinduism is a religion? I don't. You don't? Okay, well, the Islamic concept is that... So let me just give you the value parallel. It might be a good thing to do. Is it from the first human being, there has been religion? Yeah, sure, God sure, sure. Right. And God says in the Quran to us that we sent to every single nation of Messiah. Right. So even though that throughout time, different yeah. people, yeah. historically this is sort of backed up in the sense of people who have been in the of the time. Right. Right. People have come forward and said, what we do, real the divine have contacted me and given me this information to pass with you. Right, but doesn't Hinduism teach there are many gods? It doesn't teach them. Well, it's the other thing. So if you... Well, OK, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say they're all manifestations of gods. And I think if you went ultimately into most religions, yeah. even the ones that appear to be polytheists, there is a similar cause. Okay, but your, your argument is, the, is, is assuming that these religions are not very different. So that, but I don't have to buy into that. The ultimate origin of right. all religions yeah. is from a divine source. Well, that's, I just think, I, that's, I, would, I would say that's what you think. I think so. Sure. So the Pascal's argument, the Pascal's wager then depends on that assumption. And this, yeah. I don't buy that assumption. Well, if, I, if, I, if I reverse the argument and I say, okay, God doesn't want to be worshipped. Yeah. Okay, he's going to punish anyone that worships him. You're not going to buy that wager. You're just going to say, I don't believe that assumption. So that wager has no meaning for me. And it's the same for me, for your pastor's wager. I don't buy the assumption that God will punish people for having wrong beliefs. Maybe, maybe the wager is, let me explain the wager a bit. So one is that if there is a divine being yeah. and your consequences of living in life, in this life, yeah. will be affected by how you live your life in, in, yeah. in the hereafter. So either you can die and there is a God, yeah. and you can be punished for not accepting it, or you can die and there is a God and you can have reward for having believed. Yeah. If you, the, 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 of those two, in this life I'm benefited by following that, because actually I'm leaving essentially an upright moral life, because my religion is what I'm doing. Well, you're right, I mean, yeah. lots of people have a sure. mistaken view of it. As, as an archetype, you're, you know, if you're adhering to the basic fundamentals of the faith. Well, I don't agree. No, I, I would say that most, most religions teach to live a good life and to be compassionate. But I don't think there's an exception to that. I do. I, I mean, I, 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 I think that um, there are things that a lot of religions teach like repressing homosexual rights that is fundamentally wrong I think it's already wrong and it's common amongst most uh, many religions always it's changing and people will change their views but it's been common and I think sexism has been common in religions and that's already wrong I don't agree with all I know of course you don't the point is that's a contentious point that whether you uh, follow religion and therefore need a good life I don't, I don't agree okay. so what, what is your definition of a good life? Um, I can't give you a simple one sentence definition. I think morality is a complicated topic, and I can't I can't give you a. So are there any? I, I think are there any sexual practices you would not allow? I can see. That's I, I, I think yeah, there are. Which, yeah. I, I would see um, in which they are. Yes. Why you okay, I, and I don't, I, don't, I think rape is wrong because I think one basis of morality is, is the principle of So the sense amongst adults who are able to make. Yeah. So, and what about people who find themselves attracted to animals? Or to, there are places where well, okay. Already if, if, if you, do you think that having sex with animals is wrong? Okay. Do you think killing animals for food is wrong? I personally, I, I'd sooner be raped than killed. I think killing an animal is worse than raping it. Yeah. Like, what would you sooner have to one of your loved ones? They kill or they rape? So, so Which would you prefer? Sure, so what you're doing in this is you're equating. I don't, I don't believe that human animals are. They fail to. They don't have to be equal. I'm not claiming they're equal. I'm claiming they're if they, they have to be worthy of some moral concern. If they're not worthy of moral concern, then what's the problem with having sex with them? I don't see.
see that there's any problem there, right? If they're not, ha if they have no moral concern, it's hard to argue that there's anything wrong with them. Animals. animals. Okay. If, there's, if, if they're not moral beings, right? Um, then well, the, if, if they have no, well, let us put it this way: if you have sex with a, a lot of women have sex with toys, right? Sex toys. Uh, yeah. So nobody thinks that's wrong because the toy itself is not a conscious moral agent. It's just a piece of plastic, right? Right, well, it's not just that it's living, it's that it's a, a conscious being. I mean, trees are living, right? We don't think trees are worthy of the same moral concern as animals. It's, yeah, I sent it, yeah, right. So, so they don't, we don't need to assume, to say it's wrong to kill an animal does not require the assumption that animals and humans are sorry. Only that they are worthy of moral concern, that they are sentient. Does that make sense? I understand the argument, but there's two and, and, then, and this is an example of where I think people that follow religions are generally, I think, morally wrong because many religions, not all, but many, teach to the case with me. And I think it's wrong to me. Even from a naturalistic perspective that you have. Yeah. Even the fact that we have, we're almost designed to. The fact that something is natural does not make it good. So okay. what's, your, what's your basis for saying it's wrong? So my basis for saying it's wrong is compassion. I think I think we should be compassionate to other beings and live with your pain and, and have emotions. Um, and you wouldn't want to be so, killed, so... So, so anything that's alive, no, no, not alive, senses. So, so trees are alive. I don't, I don't feel there's any moral crime in cutting. I think cutting the arm off a tree is not a moral crime. Cutting the arm off a cat is a moral crime. Why? Because cats can feel pain when they suffer and have emotions. Trees, as far as we can tell, don't feel pain, don't suffer from the emotions. I don't know if that's actually accurate. Well, I think it is. If you have any evidence that it is, there are lots of studies that are looking at looking at. It's very interesting. There's a, there's a plant that actually, when it's it moved, it's um, totally. Yeah, well, that's just a defensive chemical reaction. It's not the same. So the same thing. So this study, study was done when they were taking these plants and they were dropping them from the same height. Yeah. So it was here on the floor. And this plant, this animal, this plant was holding the piece. Yeah, but that's no okay. evidence of subjective I experience. I so what? Okay. Let me explain it. So they did this a few times and then the, the, the plant would stop and then react to this. So there's two possibilities. The, the, the transmitter had done it. So now they're signaling the plant. Um, or there's another possibility that somehow this is a learned behavior. It's a far out thinking, but that's a possibility. So, that, so then, then the thing which we can do is to um, repeat it another time. Give, give an opportunity for this to rise. So we'll do the experiment. All these experiments were repeated again and it was this thing didn't happen. But when you move in a different plane, a horizontal instead of vertically, the same response would occur. So it's there was the, the appearances, so whatever the theory is and the explanation, that this response is somehow retained and, and there is some sort of processing of this. So it doesn't happen in this it's like a learned behaviour. So this is from a plant. Yeah, but that's, that's no there's no evidence there of any subjective experience. There are so not there are ways to probe. Exactly. That's the whole point. That's that to me is what grounds more of concern. Conscious experience. So um, there are ways to probe whether animals have conscious experience. Uh, and there are there are telltale signs of whether they can feel pain or not. I'll just give you an example. If you have endogenous opioids, that's evidence of that you feel pain. Because what is an endogenous opioid? It's something that releases a chemical to suppress pain. Right? Why would an animal evolve that if they don't feel pain? <laughs> right? Well, there okay. are lots of reasons. Why? Well, there are actually, if you're, if you're in a... Because what happens is that when you're in a flight and flight, yeah. for example, yeah. then you need to have that ability to get through whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah, but that, exactly. But that would have no purpose if you don't feel pain. Yeah, right. If you're in a flight or flight, so let's suppose you're running away from a predator and you, you, you step on a 
something sharp. Yeah. What the endogenous opioid doesn't function at the pen is you can still carry out the flight response, it suppresses the pain. But if you don't have any pain, then obviously that doesn't do anything. That has no function. Right? So, so the presence of an endogenous opioid is I'm not really arguing for the The assumption of the is that we have to find analogous for protein in Whereas they have But it's not just the presence of the protein. It's, it's more than that. You know, if you're not arguing for plant sentience, then we're, just, then we're done, aren't we? I mean, we're done, right? So my point, my point is that we're not, it's not love, it's sentience. And there's evidence for sentience in animals. And that, therefore, grounds a right for them not to be harmed unnecessarily. Okay? I agree with you unnecessarily. And there's no necessary reason so to eat animals. So why would you So I have a different paradigm. One paradigm is that, um, so is that we, we first of all, if you, let's look at it from a naturalistic perspective. Yeah, sure. We are creatures that are designed to eat. Um, so we've been doing this for hundreds of years. Well, we're omnivores. We can eat animals or not eat animals. We can be perfectly happy with eating animals. So I agree with you. But that it also entails that we are designed to eat animals as well. Right, but it's designed to, I, I think that it creates an impression of a designer with a purpose. That was not my intention. I know that's not your intention, but it so should we, be we clear. It seems like someone's filming this. Okay. So uh, I think we need to make it clear that there's no intention, right? It's just you can do it, right? Like I, I can, I can hold, you know, some people can hold their breath for minutes. It doesn't mean that we should be living in the water, right? Right. So it's just, it's just. No, no, that's just something different. So we have enzymes within our body. Yeah, we can, we can eat meat. Let's agree on that. Yeah. So, however, this appearance of design, we can, definitely we can. Yeah. We, we're able to digest them. And okay. in fact, there are. But we're also able to digest alcohol. Does that mean we should be drinking alcohol? <laughs> so this is a different thing. In but why is that different? Because actually, there are natural alcohols, like fruit and fruits. Yeah. So we have alcohol. Yeah. So we have acetylated. So there are natural alcohols which are fine for us to consume okay. from any religious background. So okay. fruit juice will have a portion of alcohol yeah. within it. Yeah. So that's why we have this mechanism to happen. Okay. That's not an argument but it could, it could be the case. For fermentation right, right, but, it, but okay. It could be the case that we just couldn't metabolize alcohol. Well, there are some people who do it very badly. There are some people. There are some people, there are some people but there are a lot of people that can, right? So so the fact that we can metabolize something doesn't mean that we should. It doesn't follow one from the other. That's a different thing entirely. So why is it different? It's the same. Because you're just you're introducing a what you're introducing a compound that's artificially created by human beings. So what? To something that's naturally perfect. Why does it? Why does that matter? Because we're talking about from naturally perfect. But so what? I mean, humans. Well, let's put it this way: humans are natural beings, right? Yeah. Okay. So if a, if a, if, a, if an otter makes a dam. Is that a natural process? Yeah. So if a human makes an alcoholic drink, why is that like any different? Like it's no, it's not. A, it's, because what the, what the creature is doing is building a physical construct. Right, right. and so, 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 so if I meant alcohol, you just leave some hops out, you know, what's in it for me? You don't leave hops. That's not how it works. Alright, okay. I don't know anything about how to brew alcohol. <laughs> but you are, you do whatever you do. I mean, it doesn't, why does it matter? Because actually we have... So Can there be deficiencies in your obedience? Sorry? You're obedient. I'm a vegetarian. Vegetarian. So you yeah. eat some fish? No, no, no. I don't have any animal products that requires the animal to be eaten. Okay. Okay. So what do you eat? Um, eggs? Um, yeah, I do eat eggs. I mean, I don't eat, I mean, pretty much mostly vegan. But occasionally I will, um, you know, eat, eat products like eggs. Okay. Uh, um, but that doesn't require the animal to be eaten. So that's eggs or what I do? General. Well, it depends when you think life begins. So I don't agree that life begins at conception. So, so, okay, that's, so that's a separate issue. Are there any? If someone were to have a, a, a vegan diet, for example, yeah. does it lead to any detriment to the human body? Does it lead to any detriment to the human body? Gen generally not. I mean, it could in individual cases, but generally no. I mean, there's been a lot of studies on this. There's, so the, there's not a significant health difference between being vegetarian and being non-vegetarian, being a meat eater. In fact, 
um, people that eat red meat have the lowest life expectancy. So not the life expectancy. Well, that is what you mean by a health outcome. So no, well, that is a health outcome, life expectancy. It's a health outcome. Well, and a pretty important one. So, it reduces so your what life I'm talking about is in your life, yeah. before you die, yeah. are there any different extra treatments in the body? I, I mean, I, there are plenty, people, plenty of people who are perfectly healthy lifestyles, so eat vegetarian. So a common diet. deficiency that we find in people often who can be in vegan supplements. Yeah, but you can just take B12 supplements. So I take B12 supplements. That's not difficult, is it? I mean, if you're saying I don't want to, I, I, hey, I should kill an animal because I, because a B12 supplement costs me an extra five pounds or whatever it costs. Well, it's fine for you. It's like someone for who lives in a particular place in a situation where they don't have access to five pounds worth of B12 to buy from the local pharmacy. You are telling them that the way they need to live their life is in this specific way because of you, your idea of what compassion is. Um, and then they're, they're going to have a significant detriment to their health during their life. So, so hang, hang on, are you saying that if halal food was more expensive, let's say five pounds more on your weekly budget, to so buy halal food, they shouldn't buy it? Well, yeah, he's just taking rolls of the profit. Okay. He would eat meat maybe once or twice a month, right. at best, okay. and many times more. Okay. So there's not this idea that we have to do these measurements. No, no, but still, if it's wrong, it's wrong, you know. No, you're saying that, I don't believe it. I know you don't. Yeah. In fact, I'm saying that she's healthy. Because we're designed, not only do we have the ability to digest these, these meats, and we take nutrients from them, they're not available from other sources, so you have to ask if it's something. Well, you may or may not, I mean, not everyone has to take meat trust. But it's common, yeah, I agree it's common, I agree it's common. So well, my wife so doesn't take meat trust. Sure, I understand. So if you have people who are living in other parts of the world, could you try and, you're trying to bring out a system that people can live in. Yeah, sure. So, world well, it's not exclusive to uh, we're here in the West until we can get our feet on We're trying to bring a system to the world. Yeah. So if, if, it's, if your system is only applicable where people can buy artificial beets like supplements, to not have different to the health from being specific, making specific food choice, then I would say that that is not an applicable system good for the world. And in fact, probably would lack some passion towards the world. Well, but, okay, so what are you saying? All right, let's, let's suppose that um, your life expectancy was higher if you ate children. Should you eat children? So I'm not life expectancy. Why, you, why not? What's, this is the whole point. It's, it's, all right, let's suppose you had you were healthier in some way if you ate children. Should you eat children? So you're missing my arms. No, that is your arm. You basically said we shouldn't eat, be vegetarians because you think there are some health, so right uh, detrimental health outcomes. Right at the beginning, one thing I said is I don't think animals and beings are equal. Okay, uh, I, and I, I never claim that equal. The point was they're worthy of moral concerns. Why don't we address that? Do you think they're worthy of moral concerns? And, and there is moral concern for them. Okay, so we don't but have, if you're so killing and eating them, how is that moral concern? So let me give you an example. So there is no blood sport in this one. You can't, you cannot punch for pleasure. Okay. You but, can't just kill a rhino or kill a bird okay. or... You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. The only thing, the only time you can kill an animal is to eat consumption of animals. Okay. So there's no idea. But since so, you don't need to eat animals. No, no, that's what I'm not saying that you do. Well, because it causes, <laughs> it causes deficiencies in general. Okay, you don't need to eat animals. You can go to, you can go to the health food shop, get a B12 supplement, cost next to nothing. You know, you get a, a jar of like, I don't know how many, it's a lot, I don't know, hundreds in a jar for a couple of quid. So you don't need to eat so that's a, animals. That's a much better argument. Okay. So what I would say to you, I, I agree with you to an extent, oh. the amount of meat that is consumed is too much. Okay. okay. Pick in the West. Okay. So that's, that's something that needs to be addressed, because I went back to the example of people eating it, maybe once or twice a month at maximum. And maybe we should follow that example much more. And here is the opposite. What's wrong with none? Because of the deficiency of well, I just told you, you can, you can compensate that. You don't even have to get supplements. There are ways to get B12 by eating broccoli. You can get B12 from broccoli. Okay? So my, that's what my wife is. She's broccoli. She gets, she's not B12 deficient. I don't eat enough broccoli. So I'm B12 deficient and I take supplements. So you can eat it with broccoli. What's the problem with that? So there isn't a problem. Well, what I'm saying to you is if you're bringing a system, a system for the world, yeah. and it's not an applicable system. Yeah. If you're going to bring a system that only works in a niche part okay, of the okay, world, okay. Well, I, well, okay. then that's the issue that we have. So, yeah. But we have to ask the question, is it right to kill another sentient being when you don't need to? So, when you don't need to, no. Okay. All right. So, so you, do you uh, now, I, I don't want to focus on you. I, I think I'm okay. But someone... Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, fine. Which one? 